Hello everyone, my name is Adu and this is Ready Go Expat. For most people, when they hear the name Georgia, they think about the state in the US. But I actually found out about Georgia, the country in Europe, as I was looking for destinations, uh, prob popular destinations among digital nomads or foreigners in general. I wanted to find a place that I could live and that was not very expensive in Europe and also that I wouldn't have a lot of issues with the visa to, in order to get a visa to live there. And that's when I found out about Georgia. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 11 facts that you probably didn't know about Georgia. Ready? Go! Georgia's flag has an important meaning and symbolism. The five cross flag has a white background with a red cross in the middle. The large cross is a cross of St. George, the patron saint of Georgia. In each of the four white quadrants is a smaller red cross, which is the same color as the large one. The white of the flag represents peace, and the five crosses represent Christianity and sacrifice. It only became the modern day flag in Georgia in January 2004. It is a symbol of the national movement called the Rose Revolution. Georgia has been producing wine for at least 8,000 years. In the ancient wine-growing region of Kakheti is said to be the birthplace of wine. Wine production in Georgia was actually accidental. The grape juice was poured in a shallow pit and was buried under the ground, turning it into wine. UNESCO has listed the traditional Georgian winemaking method in a clay jar called a uh, Ovevri on its intangible cultural heritage of humanity list. A visit to Kakheti is a must for any wine enthusiast who goes to Georgia. The name of the capital, Tbilisi, is linked to natural hot springs that were discovered by King Vaktangs in the 5th century. The word Tbili in Georgian means warm, while Tbilisi would translate as warm location. Georgia is a former Soviet Republic and is home to the controversial political figure Joseph Stalin. Stalin was the former General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. The Joseph Stalin Museum is a museum in Gori, Georgia, dedicated to his life. The museum retains its Soviet-era characteristics. The Jewish community in Georgia is one of the oldest Jewish communities in the world. It is divided into two groups. Georgian Jews have lived there for 2,600 years, while Ashkenazi Jews came in the 19th century and there are approximately 3,000 Jews living in Georgia today. A little known fact that is becoming a hot talking point for digital nomads, tourists, and foreigners who want to visit Georgia is how flexible its visa policies are. Citizens of 98 countries, half the number of world countries, may enter Georgia without a visa for one full year. In fact, the visa allows people from countries listed to enter, live, work and study in Georgia without the necessity to get either a visa or residence permit. Georgia is also the seventh easiest place to do business in the world, according to the World Bank. The Georgian language is among 14 unique languages in the world and has its own alphabet. The alphabet contains, is phonetic and contains 33 letters. The Georgian alphabet was influenced by the Greek and Iranian scripts but shaped into something uniquely Georgian. The language displays Greek influence in its letter ordering, while Iranian influences are also visible in the cursive shapes of the letters. Great news for travelers! Georgians believe that a guest is a gift from God. This makes hospitality a way of life in Georgia. If you're from abroad, then you're considered to be a guest of the country. Meal times are celebrated as they bring people together and there's always plenty of wine and food going around. Georgians actually call their country Sakartvelo. Sorry about the pronunciation. But the English name, uh, the orange of the English name is not very accurate, but there's a theory about it. St. George is believed to be the patron saint of Georgia and thus the name might have been coined by Christian reformers in the Middle Ages. While many European nations have seen the number of members of the church fall in recent decades, the Orthodox Church in Georgia is booming. Over 80% of Georgians say they belong to the church. Dating back to the 4th century, the church helped the country keep its ancient musical traditions during the Soviet era and has been central to Georgians' sense of themselves since independence. There is an astonishing amount of space-age architecture in Georgia. 
The new parliament building is a huge glass and concrete bubble, looking like a giant frog's eye. A lot of new police stations have been built that are all glass and see-through, symbolic of Georgia's aspirations for democratic transparency. Georgia is transforming into a vibrant tourist hub, but there are many who still don't know about Georgia's tourism potential. Georgia is filled with charm, beauty, history and hospitality. Located in the midst of the majestic Caucasus mountain, the country falls between Europe and Asia. It's a small country, but it packs a lot of interest. There are ancient cities, snowy mountains, lush landscapes, delicious wine, and many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. If you haven't visited Georgia yet, make sure to include it in your list of your next travel destinations. But I've also created this playlist that you should definitely check it out if you want to move to Georgia or just travel there. I'll see you next time.